students from Kyiv, the capital of Ukraine. My name is Viktor Fursov, and today we are showing you very interesting insects and very dangerous because this is a pest of different cereals. And if you are interested, stay with us, and I will be showing you different aspects of life of these insects, and I will tell you the story: who is that, why he, they're sitting here, and what they are doing here. Okay, and we will be talking about life cycle of these insects. And by the way, I'm just telling about the miracle of what is that and how many of them you can recognize. They're crawling so quickly and so, so many of them and you can recognize that these are not mice, these are beetles and these are wheat beetles, wheat weasels to be precise. You can recognize that we are flying and this is a very special beetle rice with the Cetophilus oryza, very dangerous pest of stored products. Yes, I have collected it together with some seeds, together with barley, and you can see here in this petri dish where I separated them and put them just some fresh barley to increase infestation. So we will lay eggs here and we'll grow it here quickly. And by the way, where is so crowding so quickly? Yes, they are stored pests, so they are trying to escape, they are trying not to fly, but they can fly, but they are trying to hide. So they are interesting, they are running just not to the light, but out of the light, to the opposite side, because light just on the forward, so they are hiding, they are hiding and crawling all together and so in a great mass. And by the way, this beetle, not very big, so probably you have seen it or maybe have never seen it, if you are just uh, living in a city, so maybe you have never kept just some cereals separately and if it have not been infested in your kitchen, so you are lucky, don't know this pest because it's very, really very dangerous pest. For different cereals like wheat, barley, maize, rice, and others like ground nuts, cassava, beans, millet, and even sorghum. So these beetles can damage all these cereals. And by the way, also some processed cereals like pasta. Yes, so such stored products can be easily damaged by these insects and actually by adults, so, and also the larvae. Adults will chew all these cereals and nuts and damage them, making just this, crushing them like a meal, and also they lay eggs inside seeds, inside these grains, and larvae will eat it and will completely destroy it, and the damage can be really huge. If investigation is a high, the loss of products can be up to 30% or 40% of harvest and it's really too much. These voracious feeding on all these grains results weight loss, fungal growth and loss of quality of products. And by the way also they will produce some heating of rain, which is very dangerous, and it will help to establish fungal colonies, and all products can be easily destroyed, and also will appear some other pests like mites on these products, so because this colony can be growing very quickly. And by the way, this pest belonging to the genus Cetophilus, Cetophilus and the family Curculeanidae, weasels, Curculeanidae, and the genus Cetophilus is very large, including different species. Most dangerous three species rice weasel, Cetophilus aurizae, Cetophilus granarius, and Cetophilus zeamice. Rice weasel, Cetophilus wheat weasel, Cetophilus granarius, and a mice weasel, Cetophilus zeamice. All of them were dangerous pests of cereals, really. They damage them in a huge number. 
And how do they develop? And what are their difference? Um, by the way, the difference of two species, a rice weasel and a mice weasel, um, very small, very difficult to recognize them, and they can be differentiated only by genitalia of males. So, in the general view, if you will not recognize usually Cetophilus oryza and Zeamice, so uh, they are very close. But they can fly, both species. So, even they are flying here in my petri dish, some individuals they, can, they are flying, they are just jumping and flying very easily. But other species, uh, this is a wheat weasel, does not fly. So, that's easy to recognize, even by through behavior. And what is the life cycle of this dangerous pets? I am trying to show you some more interesting parts of their behavior when they are running, and it's really funny because they are running so fast and making a mess on opposite side of a petri dish. Now it's sunshine is not so hot, but they are trying to escape still in the hidden place in front of uh, the front of this petri dish. So I'm making huge mess here. How do they develop? Everything starts from the female after mating female with a male. Female lay eggs inside grains. Female will lay one egg in each grain and before she's making a hole choose a hole inside grain and lay eggs or just one egg inside the grain so the larva will develop inside grain and making tunnels inside and making very characteristic ways like these special tunnels so easy to recognize that uh, grain is infested and after uh, egg is developing six days and larva developing is about 25 days but of course uh, optimal temperature about 25 centigrade, degree centigrade but if uh, temperature is low larva will develop very slowly up to 110 days so in general the full life cycle from egg till the adult will be from 35 days up to 110 days under the low temperature like um, 18 degree. Insects, these adults and larvae can be easily killed by the way without chemicals if you put products uh, in a freezer in the refrigerator under uh, the temperature minus 17 for three days or up to 60 plus 60 degrees and degree so heating some products or grains so larvae and adults will die very easily for a very short period if you are heating the products but of course in, in some agricultural productions uh, many different chemicals are used against these pests because as I said loss of uh, harvest can be up to 30% up to 40% and finally even all stored products all stored grains can be destroyed because larvae will eat all content of the grain and uh, multiplying in a stored room very quickly. So each 25, each 35 days, there will be new cycle, a new generation of these pests will start. So if it is closed and without any treatment and without checking, we will multiply very quickly in your storage room if it has been infected infested so they're dangerous pests so we need careful 
care and first of all treatment uh, infested products or rains so you need to avoid keeping infested material or you need to check it very often avoid keeping it and if you recognize some infestation you need to take off it from your storage but I will not tell you about measures how to control this pest because this is another story it needs a special discussion I was, I was talking more about biology of these uh, funny beetles which are crawling here in so huge number maybe a couple of hundreds at least or maybe three hundreds all together some of them were more lazy they are sitting here but some of them flying like this one jumping and flying so you can recognize that this is rice with them and this is Cetophilus aurisi species not Cetophilus Aranarius, which does not fly. You see, male and female easily mating here. Small male and found in female. They produce uh, special pheromones, female, so we're attracting males easily. And there are some special synthetically produced pheromones that can be used to attract and to control the infestation of the by this species synthetical pheromone can be used in special traps so and insects can be easily collected on glue glue traps because of uh, synthetical pheromone will attract all three species of uh, Cetophilus uh, Orize, Ranarius and Zeamice males will come on this uh, special pheromone which is synthetically produced and after that some measures can be done regarding the storage okay thank you for watching I guess if it was interesting for you press likes write your comments ask your questions and I will show you more stories about uh, different insects which I'm keeping here in my laboratory I hope it was interesting for you, even entertaining, when we are running like that. And I will be pleased if you subscribe to my channel if you are first visitor, or write your comments, write your feedback. It's always pleasant to see that people were surprised, or oh, we just enjoyed these funny beetles, despite their dangerous past. Thank you for watching, good luck. This was a Victor Fursov, and this is my channel, Victor Fursov, entomologist, beekeeper, teacher. Bye bye. See you soon on my channel. The story will be continued. Yeah.